Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a no BS guide to the power and pack a punch tutorial here on the brand new zombies map die machine for Cold War zombies. So let's jump straight into it. First thing you've got to do from the spawn room, make your way through the right hand side door. At this point, you're going to be inside of Nagda and Totem, the first ever zombies map, make your way up the stairs and place down the charge to blow up that debris. Then make your way to the back of the room where you're going to do the exact same thing. Another piece of debris is in the way, place down the charge, wait for it to explode and then make your way across the frozen area airfield. Hello, there is Juggernog looking very, very nice, but make your way past Jug and then you've got another debris down at this area of the map that you're now going to open up once again and once it's open, you're going to now come into contact with a door that's going to open up automatically for you to enter the facility. Once you enter that facility, you can choose the left door or the right door. I choose the right door right here. Go and make your way down the stairs where you're now going to go and open the final door in front of you to go and make your way to power. Once that debris has exploded, make your way down the stairs and then round two the back of this room where you are going to open up actually the final door. I was mistaken. I am sorry. You've got this final door to open up right here where then you're going to activate the power button and that's the power tutorial right there. Very, very easy for you. But I know what you guys want. You're here for Pack-A-Punch. So let's start the Pack-A-Punch tutorial. First things first, you've got to activate the two terminals. There was the first one and the other one is directly adjacent to that one over the other side of the room. Once you've activated both of those terminals, you'll then start seeing a load of electricity build up in the middle of this room. Once that electricity is fully built up, you will be able to hold the action button down on the portal that spawns in. And then that portal will then teleport you to the Dark Ether version of this map. Once you're in the dark either version of this map, you now have only one more door that you have got to open. So do make sure you've got around 1,500 points left. And as you guys just saw, once you go into the dark either version of this map, the Pack-A-Punch machine is there, but we need an extra part for it. So you're going to go round this room and then up these small sets of stairs. Once you get to there, go and make your way across this room where you'll see the Pack-A-Punch part. And that's the place we're actually going to be teleporting to. But first, we need to find the teleporter. So up these set of stairs, over to the bigger set of stairs over the left hand side right here and then you've got one final piece of debris over the left hand side of this room that you're going to place another charge down on. Once that debris has finally blown up make your way to the ether tunnel right here and then enter the ether tunnel it's going to teleport you back over to that pack-a-punch area but first make sure you turn around and pick up this pack-a-punch piece. Now you can make your way back down these set of stairs back inside the facility area where you can place on that piece to the pack-a-punch machine and well done you've turned on power you've made pack-a-punch and you can officially pack a punch any weapon inside of the map for tier one pack a punch for 5,000 points. And here's the camo right here for tier one pack a punch. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you are brand new. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers this year. Thank you so much and peace out.